Hi, I'm Stephen Glickman, Operations Director for the Peak Fleet. In this video about the value of values, I'm talking about fairness. Fairness is defined as treatment free from prejudice or favoritism. Fairness is not one of my core values, but it is an important value to me. I want to tell you a story about fairness, which began for me in 2012, when I first heard a phrase commonly used in Australia. When you hear it, you'll probably get what it means right away. Australians say, everyone gets a fair go. In Australia, as in America, equality of opportunity and freedom from prejudice are important ideals. The reason I came to hear about fair go was that in 2012, it became international news that an Australian woman, Lindy Chamberlain, had been famously denied a fair go. And it caused a bit of a crisis of faith in Australia as the country was faced with the reality that most of the country had violated its own core value of fairness. Lindy Chamberlain's story dates back to 1980 when her nine-week-old daughter was taken from her and killed by dingoes in the Australian outback. A lot of people are familiar with the phrase, a dingo ate my baby. It's become somewhat of a punchline in the US. It's actually a misquoted statement. What Lindy Chamberlain had said was a dingo took my baby and it was no joke. Lindy Chamberlain was charged with the murder of her daughter, Azaria, and was convicted and sentenced to life in prison in 1982. After three years in prison, evidence was found that led to her being released from prison. But by then, her life had been torn apart. She was convicted when she was eight months pregnant and had her child taken away from her within an hour of her birth. She was hated in Australia. Even after A Cry in the Dark was released, a movie starring Meryl Streep, that showed that Lindy was not guilty of killing her daughter, public sentiment was unchanged in Australia. In 2012, 32 years after Azaria's death, Lindy and her ex-husband Michael were finally got the coroner's office to rule the death officially as the result of a dingo attack and they were finally completely exonerated. In an AP story, Kristen Gillano wrote, Australia proudly dubbed itself the land of the fair go. Today, the fair go is a key part of the Australian identity, a phrase that shows up in politics, popular culture, and everyday life. But the fair go mentality didn't seem to apply to the Chamberlains. Did Lindy Chamberlain get a fair go? Or had Australians misjudged this woman? With doubts growing about just how fair and tolerant they truly were, many wondered if they had misjudged themselves. This story speaks to a sobering reality about fairness. Fairness is hard work. Australians realized that they had been unfair to the Chamberlains, and this shattered their faith in themselves. In response, they reformed their forensic science system to be more critical, robust, and accurate. Now, America is faced with being held to account for systemic racism, dating back to the European migration to North America and the adoption of slavery as the backbone of the colony's economic system. The issue of systemic racism is fundamentally an issue of fairness. For many people, they'd rather struggle harder against changing things than fight to make things fair. Why? The short answer is that change, just like fairness, is difficult. If a system has been unfair, that means that some people have benefited from the unfairness and they don't want to lose their advantages. They also don't want to feel guilty for having benefited from the suffering of others. I understand what they're facing because I've benefited from the unfairness of our system as well, and I don't want to be the bad guy. Still, I'm far more concerned with putting an end to the fundamental unfairness in our society that has put millions of Americans at a disadvantage. If you have fairness as a core value, you understand that the price of fairness, like the price of freedom, is constant vigilance. You have to work at it all the time. Now, we can take a cue from Australia. They were held to account for not providing a fair go and they changed their system. We can and must do the hard work necessary to help bend the arc of the universe towards justice. I strongly encourage you to look into the story of the Chamberlains to see exactly how unfair they were treated and why. Thanks for watching. Please take care and stay healthy. I hope you enjoyed that video. 
We're making our way through all 55 values in the Peak Values card deck. We're examining living with intention and within your values, especially during this time of the COVID-19 crisis. We want to hear from you, so please leave comments here on social media, on YouTube, or you can reach us at info at thepeakfleet.com. If you visit our website, you can find our Peak Values card deck under the product page and also learn about our other services. I hope you stay safe and healthy and we'll talk to you soon.